it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and today we are here at the Marine Flea Market again. So, it is early in the morning, and I'm ready to go in and see what we can find at the flea market. This is one of my favorite places to shop, especially in the winter, because the places that you can go to, like estate sales, auctions, those are limited quantity. All right, we're gonna start in the dollar section now. Sometimes we don't. Sometimes I get lost and I <laughs> do other things first. We're just going to do a cursory look around and see. I, I'm going to not probably get most of the stuff. <laughs> I don't think a lot of it's changed. And so, oh, this is a nice little, oh, it's cracked. Well, you're cracked up. Can't do that. So, um, a lot of the stuff in the dollar section tends to sit and sit, but they do bring in new stuff and put it in. It's just, you kind of have to be here early. And I'll admit, I'm not here right at, right at nine this morning. I was accepting that. Oh, that's kind of pretty. You're pink. You're pink in your glass and you probably came from Dollar General. I'm gonna look a little tidbit nut bowl. Real walnut. It's vermilion out of Springfield, Missouri. That's cute. If we were like three months back, I might just buy that for, you know, the fall season. Bag of dominoes, plastic poker chips. Look at that, it's pink and black. That's kind of like retro, isn't that? Like 50s looking with the pink. That's neat. For poker night. Okay, let's go look at the actual expensive stuff. The things that are gonna not be a dollar, but we can try to get some good things. They've got the music really going today, so I don't know how much of this I can really use but I'm just going to talk kind of loud so that I drowned it out, hopefully. Here's a cast iron match holder, probably by Wilton, I just noticed. Is it marked? It's not, it's $5 though, so I will not. And then they have these wood salt and peppers here. Those are $3 each. The refrigerator dishes, okay, those are not priced great at ten dollars eight dollars and five dollars so i cannot beat that look at these little coffee jars two dollars each on the those and then there's this little box two dollars yeah here's one of these is this plastic i'm telling you these things go for over twenty dollars which i would have never guessed this is rev or nevco made in taiwan so I will pick this one up. It's a larger size. Whoa, that hurt my little finger. My little finger. Oh, here's a coffee tin. That's kind of cool. It's just the one. And now this would have came in a set by West Bend. And it's the kind of cut like the rose gold. I want $4 for the one. I'd probably do it for two. And it would sell it for about 12. Crisco. It's different. And a mirror and a ring dish and a bunt cake and a... What would you put in here? Your earrings? It's a covered case for your earrings, I guess. Okay, this is where I was last time whenever people were asking if those were salt and peppers. They're not. They're bells. These are bells. So I, I never tend to come down here and look at them. Although, why not? I don't know. <laughs> okay. So those are just like little, little bells. What are these? Hmm. Oh wow, actually mermaid dolls. And that's Florida. See, it, it, it pays to get down on the ground sometimes. It really does. It's a little lady with her fan. Okay. Is that a bunny bell? You're an Easter bell. And someone also had mentioned about the Dorothy Thorpe style glasses in the last video. And yeah, these have like a night on them and they are $20. So I will not, based on the shipping and everything that goes with that, I have sold my fair share of silver band glasses and silver fade and uh, I'm just not into it right now. All right, well, this is actually pretty good. Let's see what that does, the, the mermaid bell. This is that, and here we found the loose light candlesticks the other day here.
All right, well, we didn't do too swift, but that's okay because, I don't know, because I'm telling myself that it's okay. <laughs> We're gonna go to a little flea market place and it's about 15 minutes away and I haven't been there in a while. They call themselves a flea market, but they're really an antique mall. They've got little booths set up, but we're gonna head on over there and we'll see if I find anything there. And um, yeah, so I'll meet you right on over. Well, here is a blown glass elephant. It's kind of nice. It's not a chip, that's just like an inclusion or some kind of manufacturing little defect there. But it is a really pretty elephant with the red and they are asking $7. I'd probably sell it for about 16. So I'll think about it. I almost tucked myself into it. I just got in here, so I'll think about that one. This little um, snail has this iridescent salt on it. Isn't that beautiful? That one is $6. So that's not bad for the snail. Some salt and peppers, these are $7 for those little owls. We'll keep looking. Here is a Pyrex, or I mean a Corel Crazy Daisy for 13. Those are popular. Look at the poodle. It's a poodle bank for 20. It's a cute little poodle. 25% off all Christmas items. Okay, so Christmas items are 25% off. Like these melted plastic popcorns, they'd be 25% off of, let's see, there's two of them. Oh gosh, yeah, they're $15 each. These are popular. Those are popular decorations. And the, the globe, that's marked up to 18. Their little, their little um, apple jam jar is five. If there's no chips or cracks, I can do that. I would sell this for 12. It's not a ton of profit, no. Well, maybe 14. Yeah, it's in pretty good shape, really good color. These Hazel Atlas jam jars are fun. They made them in strawberries apples, a pineapple that's hard to find. Look at the Pyrex. Look at that. And it even has like the label on there. The little, the little dishes, the little bowls. That's fun. This is Hazel. This should be Hazel Atlas Plat Night. That's kind of a nice carnival. 1960s, 70s carnival reproduction piece with the buttons. Well, I'm down here because I noticed this vintage Valentine. Isn't that nice? I'd cut the rest Wait, I cut the rest all out if you'd be my... I cut the rest all out if... Look, I don't get it, but it's so cute for a dollar and a half. What is this one? To my Valentine. Oh, you get a pair of them, or a couple. Two ninety-five. you get two. I'll be sitting pretty if you'll be my Valentine. But that's great, I'll get both of those. And this little dog. That's cute. Valentines are hard to find. That's a dollar. That's cute. I'll do those. There's a lot of Valentines. This one's three. Don't want to horn in, but won't you be my Valentine? That's three dollars. Oh, you get, are they just, those are two different ones. That's cool. So that would be a um, dollar and a half each. Those are Hallmark. They're marked there, Hallmark. Look, I know, I'm like, I just don't see a lot of Valentine's ones. Now this one's four dollars. You get two of them. You get the one with the, the well, and you get Be My Valentine. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. We're just gonna get all of those. Because Valentine's, like I said, it's one of those holidays you just don't find stuff. And they even have some salt and peppers back here. What are those? Like little mustard jars? The little bugs? Those are interesting. Let me sit down my, my items. Let's see here. They're not marked. They're different, aren't they? But this one has little spoons in it. Pair of sip sip or honey pot with spoons. Three dollars. Those are adorable. And they come with their spoons. So you get them for a dollar and a half each, basically, with their little spoons. Let me get those too. 
I need a basket. Oh, maybe that was salt, supposed to say salt and pepper. Oh yeah, maybe salt and pepper. It always seems like you find one good booth, and this is one of those. Three dollars. I love these little tins like this. That's some really pretty color on it. By the way, I found a cart. I dropped off my other items up front. Oh yes, look at this. Table cover or drying towel for five with the girl in the bonnet. Oh look, look at that. There's a dog. How much is the doggy? Five dollars. So it's a tea towel or? Looks kind of large. Is it just on one side? Yeah, it's only embroidered on the one side. Well, I don't think I will if it's just that. It's kind of cute though. It's really cute. Okay. Oh, that's, that's a nice little box right there for 14. Good colors. Oh, look at that box. It's like a trapezoid. Well, it's a diamond or something, but that's a cool box for $5 and it's napkins. Are they paper? Yeah, they are. That's cool. That's a really cool box. Oh, Sticks, Bauer, and Fuller. That's cool. That really is. Too bad they're not on sale for their Christmas stuff. Because that's a new box. Hand painted planter Shawnee. That is different. It has like little mountains on it. The paint's kind of worn though. So I don't think I will. Look at her. She's dancing. She's a little ballerina gal for $9. This booth is 50% off Christmas. Oh wow, there's some cards there. <sighs> I'm telling myself I don't need any more Christmas. No. No more. There's more cards over there. Yeah, you find a lot of Christmas cards, but not a lot of, ho um, well, Halloween or Valentine's or there's some more little angels down there. Some Joseph originals. And then a little spaghetti. That's May, a little spaghetti um, ceramic. May Angel. Let's say Saturday. Oh my gosh. I haven't seen a Saturday Angel. Oh, Saturday's. Saturday's Child. Okay. All right. Well, the booths are kind of tiny. So we can't find the tiny stuff. Whoops. What in the world? Oh, it's like all incense. Okay. Good thing I have a mask on so I don't have to smell all this. All right, we just got done with the flea marketplace and I mostly bought some Valentine's Day things, which is nice. I, I mean, I really don't have a lot in the way of vintage Valentine's to resell. So it's good to kind of get some more of those and put those up and sell those. But for now, I'm gonna wrap up this video. So thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.